regional arts organization. We do exhibits, we do classes, we do youth outreach to like 15,000 kids a day, and we help artists with um, projects and money and grants. We're sort of a hybrid as an arts organization, and we are we're known for our exhibits dating back to the 1930s, but we actually do exhibits of uh, international art as well as local art uh, and artists who are known throughout our country. Um, and then we do a lot of classes, 400 classes a year in uh, primarily visual arts instruction, but other kinds of art, uh, art instruction as well. And finally, we give grants to other organizations because we're the regional partner for the Indiana Arts Commission for Lake Porter and LaPorte counties. So we give about about $175,000 a year in grants. Every Kid program reaches about 15,000 kids a year with art opportunities, families mostly in underserved communities. And for instance, if a school system would take art out of their curriculum, we go in at that point and put art back into the curriculum by offering after school programs for the kids. So that's just one example. We partner with um, YMCAs, we partner with social service agencies, we partner with all kinds of school corporations to provide op art opportunities for kids and families. Uh, we became South Shore Arts after being Northern Indiana Arts Association for 35 years. That was our fourth or fifth name. Uh, so we've actually, our name has evolved with our organization over its 60, 70, 70 plus year history. As, as the scope of activities changed and the service we provided to the region and as the region enlarged, the region that we served. You never want to pick and choose and take things out. It takes a lot of different components to make a community whole. And art is certainly one of them. Um, and so we firmly believe in that. We firmly believe that kids need to be exposed to art and creativity. It helps them learn better. Sometimes it gives them a way to express themselves that they wouldn't ordinarily have. So um, we're thrilled to be the regional arts organization here. We do have four different um, galleries that people can visit in the atrium here at the center. This William J. Bachman Gallery, which is 5,000 square feet. We have locations in Crown Point and Hammond also. But lots of art has been donated to us through vendors, through individual artists. So we have a great combination of art here tonight uh, by a, a lot of different artists. Some that are just started starting out, some that are very well known. It's kind of you know, art is very subjective. You see something you like, and you like it. doesn't matter who it's by. You just like it. So I think that's one of the neat things about it. Well, this is our major fundraiser for the year. Uh, we only have one big fundraiser, and, and it's called the Beaux-Arts Ball. This is the 14th annual Beaux-Arts Ball. We always have it the first Friday of June. And last year we netted $110,000, and it helps to support the programs that we do out in schools or at parks departments and, and with social service agencies providing arts instruction, uh, visual art, music, drama, and dance for kids throughout our region. We're sold out tonight. We have some fabulous out, um, auction items that have been donated from individuals and from community businesses. So uh, we're really primed to make an all-time record amount of money for our youth outreach program. It's called the Every Kid Program. Sunday, June 10th, we're opening a new series called the Outstanding Midwest Artist Series. And this is going to be an invitational series that we do um, maybe annually, maybe every other year, um, where we feature the work of, uh, obviously, an outstanding artist who's <laughs> some, from somewhere here in the Midwest. Our first artist is a, a guy named Michael Noland. He lives in Woodstock, Illinois. Um, he's uh, well known uh, by uh, collectors and galleries throughout the Chicago metropolitan area and throughout the Midwest and, and even elsewhere in the country. So we're excited to have that show this summer. There's a lot of ways to come into our organization either through a class, visit an exhibit, become a member, read one of our magazines. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can access the organization. Everybody has different tastes. So hopefully we'll touch on something that will excite you and, and you know make you smile. The website is www.southshoreartsonline.org or you can just call me here, Trisha. I can, you know, direct you to wherever you need to go and it's 836-1839 and I'm extension 107.